In this video, we will come across to an example that Gaussian elimination tells us that the system has no solution. Here's the example. So we start uh, the question immediately from an augmented matrix. Uh, here it is. So again, first of all, we will be uh, focusing on the first two numbers, two and four first, which, in which we want to make it a zero. So once again, you can stop the video for a few minutes and to simplify it. All right, so I hope you have finished the simplifying the augmented matrix. Uh, so let's review the things you have done. Uh, so of course, first of all, we want to can cancel two and four. So by the suitable operations of row two and row three. So after that, uh, I uh, stop working on the perfect row echelon form because I find that 7 minus 6, 7 minus 6 can be deleted, cancelled directly. So that's why you will see I immediately operate on row 3 minus row 2, in which I got two zeros. And now I have a very weird result. Uh, so it's 0, 0 minus 8. So I repeat again. So I ignore the perfect row echelon form and leaving a 7 there. But the point to note will be in the last equation, can you see that? What do we mean by 0, 0, 0? That means there is no x, no y, no ez, or simply that means 0 is equal to minus 8. It's totally a wrong answer, unreasonable to say 0 is minus 8. So what's happening to the system or system of equations? Because it has no solution. So as a result, then you can immediately draw the conclusion that uh, the system itself or the system of equations has, or ha should be has, has no solution. So in conclusion, you will see that uh, there are two situations or very special situations you find in Gaussian elimination. So as a summary here. So the first case will be uh, when you have your row echelon form in this format, having all zeros in the last row, that means you have infinitely many solutions in your answer. So that's why we make use of t to present the answer. The other case would be the row echelon form giving you a, a reasonable answer, having all zeros but equal to a certain constant. So where k itself, it can't be a zero. So it may be one, it may be two, or it may be minus x in our case. In this situation, we will say, so there is no solution of the equation of the system.